Hello, hello, hello. Are we here? Throw things around for a moment. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. How are you guys today? Thank you for being here with me as we prepare for another Summer Fest Live. Hi, Amy. Hi, Mickey from Michigan. How are you? I'm just trying to get the last of my preparations together. Um, if you are here with me today, please make sure um, that you let us know that you are here, that you greet our Denny's darlings who are also here in the feed. Thank you, Amy, so very much for uh, your contribution. I really do appreciate you. Where are you from, Amy? If you can answer, hi. Thank you, Lily. It is good to be back. Hi, Florence. I missed you. Hi, my Genesis. I miss you so much. What are you doing? How is your summer going, my darling? Hi, Yvonne. How are you? Hi, Beverly. How are you? I hope everyone is doing well this evening. I am well. I have been preparing to meet up with you guys um, from about 3 o'clock this afternoon, just getting things ready. Um, my son, I finally got my system up and running, so I'm grateful for that. He came and loaned me his um, technological brain, and he said to me, Mom, um, I need you to learn how to do this, so I'm going to show you how to get this done. And so he walked me through the process. He walked me through, through the troubleshooting process. And so I'm grateful to him. I'm also grateful to my daughter who helped me finagle another way for the last two times we were live as well. We're a bunch of tinkers in this house and I appreciate my darling baby so, so much. Well, hi, Amy from Wisconsin. Thank you for being here with us today. We appreciate having you. Let's see, hi, Dawn and Ray. Edwina, hi, from Northville, Michigan. I'm good, Genesis, just enjoying the time off. Hi, Rosa, how are you? Reed City, thanks for being here. Gina Green, hello to all Danny's darlings. Hey! Thank you so much, Florence. We do need them, my family and I. I was chit-chatting with my cousin um, yesterday and, you know, it was evident. So, you know, we're just doing what we can and moving on and just trying to honor her in everything that we do. So today, like I promised, we are going to be creating something whimsical. And I promised you, um, since we are in a summer splash, we were going to be creating a flamingo piece that you would be able to, if you want to make it a centerpiece, that is fine. But if you wanted to, as summer parties are coming to a beginning, um, and we have what, 4th of July coming up, we have cookouts coming up, well, I'm back now, Mickey. Thank you so much. I miss all of my darlings too during that time. Um, but now that, oops, let me turn this off. I'm so sorry, my ringer. But now that I'm um, back, or sorry, now that it is summertime, this is what I was saying, and we're getting ready for parties and outdoor parties and having people over and making sure our decks are wonderful wonderfully decorated or our backyards are wonderfully decorated i figured hey why not do something that would help to decorate our outdoor area and so what i decided to do today was to create a very simple yet very versatile and elegant flamingo centerpiece so that 
you can prepare for your outings. But before we get started, I just want to say to those of you who are new, I want to thank you for joining our live today. Thank you for being on the feed. If you have said hello, please, if you are new, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to click the notification bell so that you will be made aware whenever any of our videos are published or whenever, like today, we go live. For those of you who are here with me or you were here with me for the past two videos, you guys know that we are in the midst of a summer splash where I'm going to be coming to you live for the entire month of June where we'll be able to craft together, interact one with the other, and connect since I've been away for the past two months. And also for my members, those of you who have memberships to the channel, we will be meeting in a private chat this Friday, God willing. So please be sure to look out for that information as well. All right. Any questions for me before I get started? If not, my original plan for this piece, and I forgot to bring this over, I was going to repurpose um, this piece that I created some time ago. This was a wedding centerpiece that I created a few months ago, I want to say even maybe up until a year ago. And um, what I will do when I come off of uh, the live, I will put the video in the details below so that you will be able to go ahead and look at that video if you're interested to see what this was. But on the top here, there was another platform and I placed flowers all around it and then on top sat a mirror. So if you wanted to use this for an aisle runner, if you wanted to use this for a centerpiece, if you even wanted to use this for indoor decor, you could have, and on top you could have placed candles or any other thing that you wanted to place on top of this. And so my initial idea, when I was brainstorming and coming up with ideas to put this together, I figured, why not? Uh oh, Ray, I'm so sorry about that. Um, is your notification bell checked? If it is, I really don't know what would be causing that, but check and let me know. Um, so the, my initial thought was let's repurpose this and make this really and truly a, a, a simple project where you place your mirrors on this and in the video that I'm going to share with you later, you will see how I created this build and how I even put my um, sticks in here, if you will, my skewers to create the height that I needed for my platform. But then when I thought about it, I said, you know, we're going outside in the garden and we're trying to make this as um, unintrusive and as natural as possible. And so when I had that thought, I decided to do away with this. And I say all of this to say that I know I did not put out um, the supplies that you would have needed to craft with me live today and I'm glad I did it because my design has changed okay so instead we are going to use these two half spares and this was actually an eight inch do I want to say eight inch or ten inch I really can't remember um spare that I simply took and I cut it in half to make the two halves. Now, you can, they do sell them as halves in the store. Um, I would say check to see, of course, with your coupons and everything else, check to see which would be more cost efficient. Would it be buying the whole thing and cutting it in half or would it be buying the two halves? You would have to decide um, on that. Yes, Donna, you remember that piece. Awesome, okay? So to make this, what we are going to need, and I'm going to show you two designs this evening. You are going to need two mirrors. I choose, um, chose to use this octagonal piece, 
And the reason why I'm using a mirror, you might think, well, why would you want to put a mirror outside? I'll tell you why. First of all, it's going to make this project a little bit more upscale. And then second of all, if you are going to be having your parties in the evening with your lighting running across you know, your patio or even on your deck, the mirrors are going to reflect that lighting and give you yet another dimension from this piece. Okay, so this is why we're using this mirror. Additionally, the mirror is going to act, the weight of it, thank you so much, Dawn, the weight of it is going to act as a weight to hold down this styrofoam, even though we're going to glue it on, and to hold down our flamingos once we set them into place, all right? Any questions about that? No? All right, so to get started, we have our two halves. And all we're going to do with our two halves is glue them using hot glue down onto our mirror, okay? And we all know that when we are working with hot glue and smooth surfaces, it really does not take much, however, since we are making sure that this piece is adhering to this mirror and not going to move, we are going to use, I'm trying not to burn myself, <laughs> we are going to use copious amounts of that hot glue to make sure that this piece is going to stay in place, all right? So I did this one, I'm showing you just with the hot glue, how steady it is. And then I'm going to do this one also because I'm making a pair and I'm going to be with the pair showing you two designs. One, we're going to make into a floral and the other one, for those of you who are not floral, um, we're going to use the river stones that you get from the dollar store to decorate our base and here you go voila first step done very simple all right any questions y'all no okay <laughs> so the first one that i'm going to show you is the easiest one to get done and that is going to be of course making your floral arrangements now i had these flowers um, I want to say I bought them two years ago from Michael's. They were on clearance, they're hibiscus. And I paired them in another video and I'll also put that video underneath so you guys can see what this was as I'm recycling my projects. I also used hibiscus from the dollar store and I was very, very impressed with the colors that they had even two years ago. Now, knowing that I had these um, already in storage and I was going to recycle them, I still went to the Dollar Tree today to see if they had brought in any more or they had any other colors so that I could spruce it up a little bit, but they weren't. So I'm going to be content and I'm going to use what I have. Thank you so much, Florence. I appreciate you, okay? So before, you want to make sure that when you are creating um, your floral arrangement, you are going to, and just let me quickly show you this, place your flamingo first because you want to make sure that the feet on the flamingos are already set so that when you go in to place your flowers, you're not having to guess, should I put the flower here? Should I put the flower there? How much space am I going to need to secure the legs, okay? I got this flamingo off Amazon. I'll also put the link um, below when we're finished. But someone told me in our last live that you can also get flamingos from the dollar store. When I went today, I did not see any. So I don't know if my store was sold out or they're sold by regions. But anywhere you get these, you would know that these 
flamingos come with legs, right, that you just simply skewer into place, being careful not to hurt yourself. And this hole, I actually had to go in and make it a little bit bigger um, with a blade because it was not going in all the way. So all I'm doing with that hole is just securing it with some hot glue to make sure that that leg is not gonna slide out or the flamingo is not going to fall once we get her situated, all right? Once you have placed your legs, you're going to decide which direction you want your flamingo facing. And once you have decided, you're simply going to put her into place. And it is as simple as that. Once you have placed your flamingo, you can now, if you are making the ones with the flowers, you can now go ahead and start to place your florals how you would like them. Again, if you would like a not so full ball, I would suggest going in with shorter stems. But if you'd like your ball to look much fuller and the flowers to complement the piece a little bit more, I would suggest going in with longer stems and not pushing them in all the way. So while I do this, we can chat a little bit. Um, Donna says she thinks Walmart has flamingos as well. Thank you so much for sharing that, Donna. I didn't know. I tend not to go to Walmart um, too much, um, but I didn't know that. So thank you so very much for sharing. All right. And just going in with my hibiscus, trying to space out my flowers. And if you look, you can see that the colors of these flowers complement our flamingo very, very well. Now, in addition to the flowers, I decided to get some of the grass from the dollar store, okay, to kind of obscure her legs a little bit. And if you notice, even when we push this down all the way, the grass is still going to be a little bit too high. So we're going to have to snip all of these, but we will get there um, when I have finished placing all of my flowers. Family Dollar, okay, and Dollar General has them also. Thank you so much, Florence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Recently, I shared in my last video that a few coworkers and myself have decided to start to budget and get our finances together, whether that's, you know, through saving or becoming debt free. And so one of the things I've had to fight with with that process is not being able to spend as much or on a whim on crafting as I typically do. Like I would go into a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, see something that I absolutely love and figure, hey, I love this, I'm just gonna put it aside and who knows, one day I might think of a way to use this. Well, not anymore, I have to plan and of course, when I plan, I have to keep my budget in mind and which is helping me and is going a long way to help me with my debt-free goals. So um, in one of our June videos, I'm going to be showing you the format that my girlfriends and I are using and the tools in which we are helping, some of the tools actually DIY um, tools, and I will show you how I made um, my pieces, all right? So that's up and coming this month. As you and your family, Dollar Tree, ooh, thank you, Cassandra. Guys, if you look at the feed, you can see that Cassandra just placed a SKU number for the Dollar Tree Flamingo. So you can go ahead and get that, um, whether you are going to order them online 
or you're going to go shop around and see if you can find them. Dollar Tree still has them avail available. Thank you so much, Cassandra, for doing that. All right, and I'm just going to continue this. I'm going to just make sure and get one side done so that I can honor your time. And then um, when I log off, I'll continue and then I'll change the thumbnail and I'll post the picture. Hi, Annette, thank you for being here. I will post the picture of what the finished project looks like, just in case you are, of course, interested to see that. And so if anyone else comes upon the video, they will be able to have the finished project as well. Okay. So here is the front. Like I said, I will finish this off camera. And now we're going to take our grass, our Dollar Tree grass, and we are going to very strategically place this grass to obscure her legs a little bit so that it's not all black and it actually looks as if she is on a tropical island somewhere hiding in the grass okay and maybe i'll put two more over here on the back side to hide her other leg and then like i said if you are thinking that the grass is too high thank you annette if you are thinking that the grass is too high then you can simply go in with a pair of scissors and you can cut them down to size you can cut them down to size to where you would want them to be okay and look again not too much time not too much effort really pretty and like I said you can use this something like this as an outdoor piece um, to place on your patio and on your deck for your outside parties or if you like this can also be a summer centerpiece for your summer parties placing them on the table and just setting that atmosphere for summer and fun and pool parties and hanging out with friends and for my teacher buddies just getting your mind right for next year <laughs> Do I have any teachers online with me? Let me know. I know we in the South here are out, um, but I know those in the North, they're still going um, some until, I want to say the end of June. If I'm correct, you guys can let me know. All right. So here is our first one. And like I said, this is for those of you who like the floral look, um, that kind of Hawaiian look, tropical island kind of feel going on here. And then I also thought, I almost forgot, if you wanted to go the extra mile, I got this lei from the dollar store when I visited today. You can put a lei around her neck or, or I should say rather, and this came with three pieces, a bracelet. Um, so you can do something like this. Um, if if you are interested in doing so. Um, and for those of you, just to lift her up, give her yet another dimension of fabulosity. And um, for those of you who, like me, are my bling masters, thank you, JLR, thank you for being here with us again this evening. For those of you who are my bling masters, you can take your diamond wrap, I have my roll here, you can take your diamond wrap and simply etch along her feathers just to give her another highlight and just more dimensions for the piece, okay? So this is the first one. Very easy, very simple. It will help to give your parties some pizzazz, all right? Now, the next one that we're going to make, and I'll just place her on the floor, 
is going to be using the same pattern, but like I said, for those of you who aren't floral types, okay, and I get it, not all of us like flowers, not all of us like the bling or the diamond wrap, some of us like more, you know, simple and not too much flair, that's okay. What I'm going to show you is my second design where instead of using the flowers, you can purchase, yes, I agree. Thank you, Dawn. I agree, Dawn, the bling would be pretty. Just, just highlights, just little highlights, single strands at a time, not a whole piece, but actually just taking off single strands and gluing them on either with your E6000 if you want to make this a permanent piece or with your hot glue. Thank you, Cinderella. I like your name, awesome. Hi, Lily in Broward County on Tuesday. Yay, summer! I love it. I miss my students. I'm not going to lie to say. I also miss, Lord, I don't know who's, why I'm gonna say this. I miss, what can I say? The structure of the day, you know, getting up, going out, knowing that this is gonna happen at such and such a time, at the end of the day, I get to come home, you know, whatever the case might be, um, and then having my evenings. But don't worry, I'll get accustomed to having my own free time and using some of that free time to spend some time um, with you guys this summer. Thank you, Delane. So pretty, I wish I could do this. It's raining so much, I'm sure it will be washed away. Oh yes, <laughs> don't um, put it out there now, of course. Um, okay, so the second one that we're going to make, and I'm trying to think to see if possibly I should leave it up so if anyone else joins us, they will be able to see her. They will be able to see her, a little bit of her. Perfect, all right. So that's the first one. The second one we're going to do is, like I said, just using the river rocks and placing the river rocks on your styrofoam using hot glue, kind of like a mosaic, and trying to fit your rocks together to cover up as much of this styrofoam as possible. And so as you can see, all I'm doing is very carefully laying my hot glue. I'm trying to find the flat stones and just trying to fit them into place and continue on. Now for those of you who craft, this would be a good Sunday afternoon, kind of rainy day craft um, that you will be able to just sit quietly to spend time to get this done. And my intention really was to do some of this before the live, but I just got caught up in so many other things preparing and then my son giving me the lesson and getting excited that today was actually going to happen through my system and not having to finagle to get it done through my phone. And besides, I didn't charge my phone. <laughs> so if we had to go that route, we would have been in trouble. Dawn says, turn it on the side profile. Okay, thank you, so people can see it better. All right. Yeah, you're right, that's better, thank you. All right. And so the idea with this one, like I said, is just continuing laying your river stones, filling in or hiding as much of that styrofoam as possible, and then look, I made the same mistake I told you guys not to make. Before you do, place your second flamingo to make sure, see what I mean? The legs just slide right out. To make sure that you know where to Okay. That you know where to 
Place your rocks. I'm so excited. You know, and like I said, guys, this is just to show you guys that it does not take much. I mean, we go to these home decor stores, myself included, and you see all of these pretty things that they have on sale and you wonder, oh my gosh, you know, I really like to buy this. Can I afford this? Is it going to break my budget? But then look, just a simple idea, a piece of foam, some flowers, some green grass, and a flamingo that you can get from dollar store and you have come up with either a centerpiece or your outdoor decor for your summer parties. All right. I'm just trying to give this a few seconds to set. And if she's facing that way, then he, which it really doesn't matter because it depends on how you um, put them to stand, can face this way. All right? So here we go. And now, as you can see, you can just continue to place your river stones, not having to worry about where there's enough space. Did I leave enough space for her legs? Is it all going to work out? The flamingo has already been set into place. The grass I actually got from the dollar store as well over in their florals. Um, I picked those up today at my store. It was very plentiful. Um, so Cassandra, I hope you don't mind me asking, but if you can also look um, on the site, please, and find that skew for us as well if anyone else would be interested in purchasing the grass as well. All right. And so, of course, this one will, in the essence of honoring your time, will be completed off camera but i just wanted you to see the two different options if you were not a flowery type person you could also go in with your river stones and create a similar look for this craft as well oops sorry okay and then if you wanted to add the grass to obscure her legs, that too would give it that look of a more natural feel, a more natural look, as opposed to the flowers themselves. Hi, One Way Designs, how are you? Thank you for being here. Okay, and like I said, this one, if you wanna just come home one day from work, and forget about the day. This is a craft for that. <laughs> Very soothing, time consuming. Relax your brain a little bit so you're not thinking about too much, but just getting it done. Now, if you notice Annette and One Way Designs, that bling that they are um, donning um, and their names being in green, that's to show us that they're actually members to the channel and with your membership you get different perks that subscribers might not get like for example they will be treated to a um exclusive live chat this friday um with me that will air only for them and sometimes when i do my live um, chat with me lives I also give my members a number in which they could call in to chat with me live and share um, their ideas or share on the topic we are chatting about um, that particular day. So if that is something that interests you, um, I would suggest on um, your our homepage that you go ahead and look for that, see what the other perks are. Now, I'm in the process of changing some of the perks as I seek to cater a little bit more to brides or event planners, but of course, I will have more information on that when I am ready to go public with um, my ideas. Cassandra, you rock, girl. Thank you so very much. 
So for those of you who were interested, thank you one way. For those of you who were interested in the grass, Cassandra just placed the skew on the screen. All right, so you can find that again, whether you're going to purchase it online or you're going to go to your local store to see if there are any. Like I said, at my local store, there was a lot. And I went with, I call her my little sergeant. Um, you know, my daughter, she's, you know, five foot and, but very stern. Not, I, let me not say stern. Very sure of her, confident in, you know, herself. She's like, mommy, you don't need that. Mommy, why are you picking up so much? I was telling a friend of mine today that I saw some beautiful iridescent vases um, at Dollar Tree today that I, it was a new item. I never saw them before. And of course, I wanted to pick up all there was because, like I said, sometimes, you know, a project might just come up. But I picked up four. And then she looked at me and she said, Mommy, that's enough. Let's go. <laughs> so I couldn't argue with her because really and truly, I went there for um, the grass um, for our flamingo. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to argue with you. But like I was telling my friend, I'm like, I might just have to go back when she's at work to get what I need or possibly order it online. And just the box shows up to the house. Voila! <laughs> yes. So for this one also, I'm only going to do the front face so you can see what half of it looks like. And then I will finish it off camera so that I can um, honor, honor your time. And then when it's finished, I will update our thumbnail with the pictures so that you can see what the final projects look like as well as anyone else new to our channel browsing through and seeing that thumbnail they will know what the video is all about. <laughs> you know I'm gonna hide that. I'm like, oh, how did this get here? You know, like that meme with the little, the little girl. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I already have the plan, don't worry. <laughs> yes, my baby, she I have very sweet, sweet kids. You know, I thank God for them. They're never giving me any issues. And so, you know, I'm, I'm happy and proud to be their mom and humbled all at the same time. But I'm gonna get my vases. <laughs> On Saturday is the next time that we're going to go live. And again, we're going to be making something that is so simple yet so elegant we're going well let me not say it but what i'll do is i will place the items that you're going to need um in the description box as well for this video so that if you're interested in crafting with me live um you can go ahead and purchase your items and it's not going to be much simple simple project um so we can get that done together on Saturday. Looking forward to it, guys. Thank you, Elena. I appreciate you. See, like I said, very, very soothing, very time consuming, but by the time we're finished, you will have a beautiful, beautiful project. Now, I'm going to stop here, just so like I said, I can honor your time. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And even though I'm saying I'm going to stop, right, I'm still going, because it's just this soothing, getting it done. But I'm going to show you, using the grass, how the front of this might look. Oops, sorry. Okay, so here is the front of it. Again, like I said, very 
realistic, a little bit more realistic than the florals are. And then if you wanted to go in and hide his legs, we're gonna call him a him, so you have a pair. We're gonna hide his legs, okay? Um, so that it looks like he is waiting in the water and looking for his food. Trying to see where to place it best. Okay. And this is what this might look like. Like I said, a lot more realistic. A lot more neutral for those of you who are neutral babies. Um, I have a few friends that I know would prefer this one um, than that one. The flowers, the colors of the flowers are more my speed. I like bright. I like to see um, things bright and colorful. Okay. And yeah. I love, 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 love how this is turning out. I really do, and I can't wait to finish this, okay? And now, if you can see, I can see it on this screen. You say it's you also? Oh, sorry. Okay, so if you can see on the screen um, where the stones do not fit all together there are some spaces where you can see through the stones what i would suggest doing and i didn't take it out but here it is yay i love it okay it's to take some sand you can find sand at the dollar store as well okay and just taking some sand taking some elmer's glue or some Mod Podge, taking a small paintbrush, sticking it down in those holes just as you would glitter, and then shaking some sand in it. And what the sand will do is give you a base, right? Almost as if you had a base and obscure that white styrofoam as well, okay? So it'll look like a finished and cohesive project, which is always what we want to do always always in working see great minds think alike cassandra yeah to obscure the white and everything that we do working in excellence even though we are diy we do not want our crafts to look like we diy it we want our crafts to look like we actually bought them okay and like i said the motto of our channel Hit me with it before I say it, <laughs> so we can say it together. This is our aim, dot, 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 dot. I'm waiting to see. <laughs> but yes, just continuing with this and giving this one um, a more natural look. Now, you know what I would do with these as well? Um, in getting ready for our parties, I would, if I were making more of these, you know what I would do? I would actually place, um, like if I'm making a row of these, I would actually place the Dollar Tree, what do you call those? Solar lights in between each one. So again, you're going to accentuate your piece and that light that comes from that solar light is going to help reflect and give you more light from the mirrors, okay? There we go. Why buy, hey Bubbles, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Why buy when you can DIY? And like I said, who would have thought? I could probably go right now, put this in, let's say, Home Goods or Marshalls, yes, I'm saying it, I'm that confident in what I've made, or TJ Maxx, and somebody might try to buy them. This is the excellence that we're trying to work with to create the things that we are making with our hands, all right?
Yay! JLR says he loves them and he can't wait to make them all. And again, guys, if you do make any of our projects, be sure to, if you have an Instagram account, we do, Danny's Darlings, we have an Instagram account. I have not been as active on it as I would have wanted to be. And in the two months when I was away, thank you so very much, Bubbles. I appreciate you. Um, in the two months that I have been away, I have not posted much on any social media. And so, um, I have to get that going again. But if you do make any of these pieces, please be sure to tag me in them because what I'm planning to do later on in the year is create a subscriber video of all of the things you create. So if you can send those to me, you never know. One of your pictures just might end up in that subscriber video. Okay. So please, please, please take pictures. And if you don't have an Instagram, you can always email me at Danny's darlings at gmail.com. And if someone, I don't know if one way is still there or Cassandra, if you can just type that in for me, Danny's darlings, it probably might not let you guys, I'll put it in the, um, it's, it's going to redact it and it has happened before. So don't bother. Um, but I will put it in the description box below. So if you're not an Instagram person, you can email those pictures to me directly. All right. Yay. I am so excited. I love, love, love how this one is turning out and I loved how this one is turning out. This one to me is a little bit more whimsical as opposed to this fellow who is a little bit more, um, I don't know. What's the opposite of whimsical? Serious? <laughs> I don't want to call him serious, but you know what I mean. You understand what I'm saying. Um, so that you can make pairs of these. You can make multiples of these. You can place them around your garden. You can place them around your deck. I would truly love, 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 love to see pictures of these at summer parties for those of you who do make them and put them out on your deck. I think that would be awesome. 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 Hey, Delaine, how are you? Yes, it would be awesome. Wouldn't it be? I do. I do think so. I think so. All right, my loves. So if you guys have no questions for me, hey, Evelyn, that's okay. This is going to upload and play so you will be able to see it um, a little later. And then I'll put all of the information for you, Evelyn, um, so that you can know where we purchase stuff. Um, Cassandra was very helpful tonight. She gave us a skew for um, the flamingo. Oh, I got myself. Ouch. The skew for the flamingo from Dollar Tree as well as a grass from Dollar Tree. Um, so that will be in the chat as well. And then I will um, go ahead and put it in the description box when I'm finished up with these and I get my picture and together to change the thumbnail for the video. Thank you so much, All That Plus. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The next time we meet, like I said, on Saturday, um, I will post what you need for Saturday. Friday, I'm going to be meeting with my members only. Um, the next time we meet on, on Monday, we're going to be creating... I'm not going to say something else. I already have them all lined up. I will give you those um, supplies on Saturday. And then on Wednesday again, ouch, ouch. And then on Wednesday again, um, we're going to create something summary um, that you guys can go ahead and add as well to your party decor. All right. Friday is going to be at the same time, um, and at, at seven o'clock. And if you pay attention to the community page, 
Um, the announcement is there for members only. If you're not a member, you're not going to see it, but Annette, you will be able to see it. And then I will send you some additional information, if not tonight, tomorrow, God willing. So please, ouch, please look out for that. I really got myself, guys, with this hot glue. Let me tell y'all, hot glue ain't no joke, none whatsoever. It does a job, but man oh man, on high heat does it burn. And I tend to use my gun on high heat, you know, more than anything else because I really want the staying power of the glue. Um, but gee, when you get burned, <laughs> you remember on high heat. All right, okay. So. Any other questions for me, my darlings? If not, you're still suffering from glue burns now. Uh-oh, Evelyn, did you burn yourself? What were you making? Yeah, you got to be careful with these high-temperature glue guns. Like I said, they ain't no joke. They're not, they're not. I remember one time burning myself so bad that I actually, it, it blistered, you know? And I thought about going to the emergency room, but... Um, you know, after a while it wouldn't heal, but I stuck it out and, you know, did some home remedies and, you know, it healed up. But yeah, this hot glue, uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Very serious business. Unplug it for a few minutes. Yes. Thank you for that. All that plus something coastal. Yes, ma'am. That is coming too. So yes, it'll be all there. I am so looking forward to this summer series. And like I said, um, I am glad that we're doing it this way. I know I'm accustomed to going live um, once a month, but I just thought, I really love this, oh my gosh. Sorry, I just squirreled myself. Um, I just thought since I've been away for so long, what better way to come back and connect with you guys than to just have a whole month of live with our theme of Summerfest 2019. All right. So my darlings, my darlings, my loves, I just want to take this time to tell you guys thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Like I said in the beginning, you guys could be anywhere on in this YouTube world, but you chose to spend a few moments with me. And for that, please know that I am extremely grateful. I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Those of you are the ones who drive the channels, the ones who are always here. Um, you know, whenever I post a video, whenever I go live, you know, or those of you who, when you miss the live, you say, oh gosh, Ms. Danielle, I'm so sorry I missed the live, you know, but I'll watch it. You guys are the reason why I'm here. You guys are the people on the other side of the camera so that I know I'm not just sitting here and talking to myself. And please know that I appreciate each and every one of you. To those of you who might be new and watching um, us for the first time, kindly consider becoming a member of our community where we learn from, we glean from each other, we work together, we share ideas, um, and we are growing, constantly growing, nationally growing, internationally. So if you would like to be a part of our community, please feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to make sure your notification bell is checked. And if you are so willing, please, Think about becoming a member of our channel so that you can also get some additional perks while supporting me as well. And like Amy did, for those of you who are here when Amy was on, there's also Super Chat. If you would like to give a one-time donation, the Super Chat option is there as well. And so my darlings, I just want to say to you guys, thank you for spending this time with me this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you for looking forward to seeing me on Saturday, God willing. And until then, I say to you guys, please, please, please take care of yourselves for me. Know that I love you all. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Bye now.
You are most welcome, Dawn. Most, most welcome. You too, Elena. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good night, y'all.